So anyway, um, let me see what else has my family done. What else has my family done? Well, there's some drama stuff that I won't go into because nobody wants to hear about that. I'll just bring up some funny things that we've all done. Hmm. No, my... I'm, I'm just gonna say, my life's a little bit tragic, but that's why I try to do these videos, just to kind of, not distract myself, but to bring everybody else a little bit of positivity in their life. That's kind of how I see it, is... I like how that ladder was glitching out, that was weird. The main reason why I record these videos is just to make everybody else's life happy, because I know that at times my- Oh, by the way, this jump is terrible. This jump from here to there, awful. I love all the water. Look at that. That'd be- you know what would be awful? Is if that ice key opened up those gates and you poisoned all that water with this oil. Oh my god, that could be so- ooh, that would make me feel so terrible. But anyway, one of the main reasons why I record videos is so that you guys can come home from a hard day, and I've actually had a lot of people message me about this. Just people go, Gunslinger, I gotta say, when I come home and I see that you've posted some videos and I just get to sit back and listen to you do some commentary, it really, really makes me feel good. And I just gotta say, guys, thank that those kind of messages really just make this whole thing worthwhile. Oh my god! Holy shit! I've never done that on my first try. I always have to do that. I always have to do that like four times. Nice. Lovely, lovely. Anyway, just, um, yeah, I know, just, at the end of the day, it's all for you guys, and the main reason why I have taken up that attitude is because I have the exact same thing, guys. I have the exact same kind of thing where if I just want to forget about my problems for a little bit and just enjoy something, for me, I go and read or listen to books on tape. I really shouldn't call them books on tape because they're not on cassette anymore. They're on uh, audio. I should, I should call them audio books, but books on tape just feels better for some reason. Let's see what I want to do. Hmm, I think I've done everything on the sides. No, we won't go into the ship quite yet. Let's go into the windows around the ship. We could go down into that pit. I think I actually had a dream one time where I I visited like a construction area that my father was my father was a uh, he worked uh, with irrigation for a long time and I remember one time we visited like the city and there was this big pit very similar to that pit where it was just so deep that you almost couldn't see the bottom of it or if you did see the bottom of it you had you really had to lean over to the uncomfortable point where somebody could push you into this and I remember when I was only like 4 years old I remember it must have been 4 years old because I remember where we were living at the time. Oh, god damn it. This is this is the thing that makes everybody hate Rusty Bucket Bay. Like, this projects it beyond the level of pure, like, oh, it's just annoying. No. Down. Down here. I'll leave this for now. We'll come back to that. But I just remember having a dream when I was, like, four years old of me and my baby sister and my family and everything I loved falling into this pit. It was kind of just like the pit was just like a still frame. It was like it was like here. I'll show you exactly what it was like. It was like it was just like looking at this pit. The pit doesn't move, but I just see these like semi-transparent images of me and everything I love falling into it. Like falling into a grave. Very morbid stuff for a four-year-old, but I remember that clear as day. That was one of the very first nightmares I think I ever had, and I never forgot it. Just the image of everything that you hold dear falling into this endless pit. That was the thing, that was the thing, even when I was four years old, I recognized was terrible about that dream, is that because it was bottomless, you wouldn't die from the impact, you would die from falling forever, to the point where you, like, starve to death. I do like this this map area, though. Where- what are these maps of, I wonder? Where- where was the ship going? Where actually is the overworld? Is- what- where is- where is this in comparison to the overworld? You know, is- are they just sailing inside Grunty's uh, head? Is there literally a whole continent contained within Grunty's lair? 
Where are they trying to escape the lair? What's going on? I would like to know that actually. Really would. I went in the wrong porthole. Oopsie. Ugh. By the way, is it any is it any coincidence that uh, they specifically put a mumbo head right here to kind of mimic the look of Titanic? Here, I'll even have it like. Hold on. <laughs> if you free if you froze it right like where Kazooie's like pulling out of the backpack, it would almost look like the whole like. Hold on, I'm trying to get it like right there. It's like lift me up, Jack. Wee. Right there, perfect. That's the Titanic shot right there. Lovely. Oh, that's weird. Look, my magical note or my musical notes and my eggs are exactly the same. That's kind of weird. Anyway, did I go into? I don't think I went into this porthole. Let's go. Let's see. I do like, you know what, I think this is the only little area that I really like in Rusty Bucket Bay. I love this kitchen. This is the one that I really like, and I don't even know why. I think it's just because it's so clean. It's all metallic, it really feels like a, a real ship's kitchen. This is a cutting board. Uh, stepping on the oven, by the way, will hurt you, make no mistake. Don't climb into ovens, kids. Stupid bear, you'll have to learn that red-hot ovens tend to burn. Now, kids, if you think it's smart to hop inside of a clothes dryer, you're really all wet. Shut the fuck up, Sonic says. And I think this is actually the smallest. I think this is actually the smallest one of these things there is. Whatever these enemies are called. It's just so tiny. By the way, I'm getting my health back from you. You little bass. I like how there's eggs in the fridge. Were they planning on eating that thing? Were they planning on stewing it up? Is that what was going on there? Interesting. Even the food burns me. I don't think I ever experimented with that. I don't think I ever tried to step on the food to see if the food would burn me, but the food does burn me. Interesting. This is the other thing right here. Hopping into all these little rooms. Definitely Mad Monster Mansion-esque. I... I gotta admit, also, I do like the little ship patterns in this room. I do like this little bed. What were these two sailors doing in bed, huh? Huh? I'll tell you what. Admiring the good old days where the Rusty Bucket Bay sailed untainted waters. Or the Rusty Bucket, sorry, not the Rusty Bucket Bay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, these rooms are all nice and all that, but it's just, it feels too confining. Although I do really like this bed. This bed looks really comfortable to lay on. Oof. I do like that bed. Okay, I think we've gone through all the portholes. Climb up, please. Climb up, please. Okay, fine, jeez. We'll walk all the way around. If I even can get back up this way. Oh, yes, I can. Here we are. By the way, do you all remember what that code was? Do you all remember what the numbers were? Was it 23121, one, huh? What was it? What was the code again? I might ask. I'll tell you what it was. There you are. That was the code. Three, one, two, one, one, one. There we are. And that also mimics the, the soundtrack in the background. Yeah, listen for that next time. It goes... Hold on, it goes... Yep, that's how it goes. Or something similar to that. Anyway. Uh, what was I doing? What was I going to do? Gotta plan every move. Every action here. Hmm. 
Can I go into one of these? I forget. Or is it only that one? Yeah, it's only that one. Okay. The soundtrack is definitely the best thing in this whole place. And that bed. If I could just sit in that bed and listen to that soundtrack. You know, we'll go down here. I actually really like this boss. It's one of the more fun bosses, I feel. Hello. Who dares enter a boss boom boxes hold? I've hidden my jigsaw. You'll never get it. This thing just feels huge. Just the way it moves and lumbers. Back off, fatty. Get in the corner. I was gonna say, can I even... Oh, I love this. Learn your multiplication. He looks so shocked. Oh my god. Oh my god. He kind of looks like a more, like, shocked version of that, uh, that McDonald's lunch bag that they've recently come out with. That really creepy mascot. That's interesting. Hey, guess what, guys? You're kind of fucked. Die. Sorry, I'm doing this the really cheap way. Where the hell did you come from? <laughs> Look at him, he still thinks he can beat me. I love the name of this guy. Boss Boss Boombox. That's a really cool name. Boink, boink. You think you're a pumpkin? Motherfucker, you ain't no cute pumpkin. You ain't no kawaii. It, that title only goes... Whoa, I really knocked you back there. Yeah! Ooh! Look at that! I'm inside his body, and he has not yet exploded. Beautiful. Boom! Uh, you've splintered me. Take this. I didn't want it, really. <laughs> How are you talking? Your body's gone. Head over to Mad Monster Mansion. Get the fuck off my planet. Get the hell off my ship. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay. Now. Now. Now, ladies and gentlemen. We've sadly come to the bowels of this hell. We've come to the proverbial ninth level of this the most unpleasant of circumstances. Even if you like this area, or this world, even if you like Rusty Bucket Bay, I don't think anyone, I don't think any single person can defend this area. Ow. I was trying to be fancy there. Hey, cool. Still got it. This area... The bowels of the ship. I'm going to die here. I will be shocked. I will be almost appalled if I don't already screw that up. It takes a cool hand. It takes a steady hand. It takes a knowledgeable hand. It takes a gunslinger's hand to be able to, 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 to traverse this most insane of bowels. I just like saying the word bowels. I don't know why. It's so rude. But anyway, basically, if you fall off into that dismal abyss, you die. Plain and simple, you die. You don't go anywhere. You just flat out die. Those fans will knock you unmercilessly. And, by the way, I probably should have done this first. Because now that I haven't if I die here, like that, I gotta collect all the fucking notes again. That's right, everybody. That's right. Welcome. Welcome to the experience of a lifetime. That's interesting, by the way. I like how my, my lives didn't go down to eight. Interesting. So now, everybody, we gotta collect all the fucking notes again. That's right. This world don't fuck around. But you know what? <laughs> the nice thing is that I can't get mad about that. I love that little door. Who's, whose door is this? Whose little door is that? I don't know. I'm gonna fucking kill him. But yes, you can't get mad at that kind of thing. I, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot that if you can die that easily. I totally fucked that up. But at least I got that mumbo thing. 
Okay. Let's try it again. That's the nice thing. That's the great thing about mistakes, is most of the time, you can just try again. Aren't video games so swell? It's not like life. It's not like life at all, where if you fuck up, you and you fall to an abysmal abyss, you break all your legs and die. Not at all. In video games, unless you're using some kind of permadeath thing, even then, you can restart or reinstall the game and try again. It's so beautiful. So sweet. Oh, you motherfucker, I forgot that that does that. Let's go. We needed to be perfect. This will be my redemption right here. For not being perfect. That was some skill right there. And don't you even fake it. So those propellers will only stay still for a limited amount of time. There should be a timer up right now, but there, there isn't. And I don't know why, and I don't know how I survived through that. There is now an invisible timer. I'm not sure what the hell happened. Is it an emulator problem, or did the game glitch out? Or does it just not show? I could have sworn that it shows a timer. But we need to go. We need to go, Rare. What in the hell? Oh, this game. This game. Wait a minute, what happened? Wait a minute, what the fuck happened? Hang on a minute, I'm severely confused. Why did my life, why did my lives go down? This is weird. 